bunnies and bunny lovers, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the top seven rabbit items that you should be tossing this spring cleaning season. Now, before you guys jump the gun, I'm using the term tossing very subjectively. So I don't necessarily mean throw in the trash. If I can find a way to repurpose or donate something, I will definitely mention that in the video. But yeah, let's be real guys. Like what else have you really been doing during this quarantine? Like a lot of people have been turning to cleaning and I have to say that my apartment has never looked more spotless than during this quarantine. And I'm quite happy about that. Unless you've just been watching Netflix all day in your pajamas that's also perfectly okay. Let me know in the comments below how you've been spending your time. But yeah, I just kind of feel like with pets and rabbits specifically, it's so easy to accumulate an excess of things that you just really don't wind up using down the line. I know for me, I'm always looking for like the next best, you know, rabbit product or like what are the new cute food bowls at Marshall's or let me try this new litter box and then you just wind up with so many things so let's declutter and get into the Marie Kondo mindset right now and only keep the things that spark joy for our rabbits before we get into the video don't forget to follow us on our other socials so that you can keep up with everything that we do on this channel okay so let's get to it number one old toys now this is a big one every couple months Lennon and I will go through her toys and pick out the ones that she's still interested in and the ones that she doesn't really care about those I will take to my local animal shelter or rabbit rescue and donate them and also this is a really nice way for you to bond with your bunny I know that I bond with Lennon when I do this like Lennon has the attention span of a goldfish when it comes to her toys like one day she'll be totally obsessed with something and then the next day she'll be like, oh, right, that old thing. So I like to use percentages for this part. If a toy is at 70% good condition, then I think it's appropriate to donate that for sure. But if it's at like 10%, then I would feel kind of bad giving that to another rabbit. So the nice thing about most rabbit toys is they are made of biodegradable materials like natural fibers and wood and cardboard. So you can always recycle or compost the toys that are just kind of on their last leg. Two, old beds and blankets. Now, if you're like me, you've got quite the collection of blankies and fleece and pet beds that you've collected over the years for your bunny. I'm super guilty of just like buying Lennon a new pet bed every few months because they don't last very long. Like ultimately she just destroys them and pulls out the stuffing, but I can't help myself. Like she just looks so freaking cute curled up in there when she is being a good girl. So that's a bad habit that I need to stop. But yeah, if there's like a bed that you know, your rabbit has really chewed up, then that should go. And any blankies or fleece that, you know, are really just on their last leg, like your rabbit has completely destroyed its one and only purpose, then I think it's safe to say that that blanket needs to go as well. So again, if the, the blankets and the beds are 70% good, I think that you can definitely donate those. Otherwise, you can cut up some of that fabric and reuse it as, you know, a cloth or a rag. And there are also plenty of textile donation centers that you can take, you know, fabric to, worse comes to worse. So this one's important, old expired treats. Now, Lennon gets sent so many treats in the mail and she just can't eat them all. And so a lot of them wind up just sitting in the cupboard for months, maybe years. And yeah, I need to just toss those and you do too. I mean, ask yourself, would you eat crackers that are three years old? Would you? Would you? I see you there in the comments typing, oh uh, yeah, I would. Well, guess what? I wouldn't and neither should your rabbits. I'll let you in on a little tip. I like to keep all of Lennon's treats in a glass jar where I can tighten the lid 
to maximize their freshness as long as possible instead of keeping them in like semi-opened bags. The hay rack. I'm one of those people who definitely bought a hay rack for Lennon when I first got her because I didn't know any better. But we've learned now, right, through trial and error that the hay racks, they just don't really do anything. Of course, if you have like a nice, big, beautiful hay rack that fits a ton of hay in it, then sure, keep it. But you know, if you just got a little tiny one at the store that is just not functional really, I would definitely get rid of that. The rabbits diet is 80% hay. They really should just be grazing out of the litter box, much like a cow or a horse would need to graze. It's just the most natural way for them to consume hay. And so if you're limiting the hay through a hay rack or you are restricting their ability to pull out large quantities of hay, then that's gonna mess with their digestive system. And I don't think you really want that. I don't think any respectable rabbit rescue is gonna find a use for for a tiny little hay rack, but if it's made out of a recyclable plastic or metal, then you can definitely recycle it. The water bottle. Now, I am super ashamed to say that I have been holding on to this water bottle since I first got Lennon for like five plus years, and I don't know why. I'm literally like, oh, maybe one day I'm gonna need it, and I'm never ever gonna need it. Actually, technically, I did need it for this video, so I was right. You know what I need to get rid of? My attachment issues to inanimate objects that are based on my childhood traumas. The best way for them to stay hydrated is really via a water bowl. Most likely, the bottle's made out of plastic or glass, so that makes it even easier to recycle. Metal grids, this is a big one. Now, hold your horses. So this is specifically for people who have graduated to free roaming or to using an X-Pen perhaps or giving their bunny a room. If you obviously still have a need for these grids and you're using them to bunny proof, maybe you've created a playpen or a condo with them, then obviously hold on to them. I just have like a pile of metal NIC grids that I have not used in the longest time and I probably never will again just because I've found other ways to bunny proof my home. It's kind of like your closet and you're just holding on to that blouse that you haven't worn in five years because one day you're gonna fit in it again. It's been five years. You can most definitely donate these to a rabbit rescue. They will find a use for them, perhaps an animal shelter as well, or uh, you can try to recycle them since they're made out of metal. Okay, and finally, cages. This is a big one. You're probably like, cages, really? But you'd be surprised, guys, just how many people have graduated to free roaming or to using an X-Pen, and they're still holding on to that first cage that they got a long time ago. We know rabbits don't belong in cages, so I'm not gonna go on a tangent about that. But for those of you who are new to the channel, they really don't, they require a lot of space. And so I always encourage everyone who has a tiny cage to just get rid of it, spring cleaning or not, and try to transition your bunny into a bigger roaming area. Most respectable rabbit rescues are not going to take your tiny little cage from the store. However, this is contingent on the size of the cage because if it is on the bigger side, it's possible that a rescue could make use of it as temporary housing. But your best bet, honestly, if it's made out of metal, just recycle it or give it to someone who has maybe a smaller animal like a mouse or a hamster. Now, don't get mad at me because I don't really know the living requirements for those animals, but again, this is just a suggestion. And if you have one of those cages that has a removable bottom half that kind of resembles a litter pan, you can convert that into a litter box, which is really nice. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it inspired you to do a little decluttering of your own. Now, I know that there are plenty of other items and products that could be lumped into this list, so let me know in the comments below what some of your rabbit decluttering tips are. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and all that jazz, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.